there are a lot of dangers in doing business in a digital world, and we live in a digital world. Uh, today, business means that we have computers in some form or fashion, and uh, where there's computers, uh, there are problems. So we're going to talk about some of those problems tonight. Okay, spam is not canned meat. You can't eat it with egg. <laughs> The definition, electronic junk mail, and we hear so much about spam these days. Um, spam basically is unsolicited, often commercial, uh, and unsolicited, often commercial message is transmitted uh, via the Internet as a mass mailing to a large number of recipients. And yes. you want to talk about that a little bit, Joe? Yeah, spam, uh, it's, it's a big problem. Uh, uh, and it's exactly what it says it is. It's electronic junk mail. Currently, the last statistics that are out is that approximately 12% of email on the Internet is legitimate. All of the rest is considered spam. Are you serious? No, I'm 12%, serious. 12% is real? Is, is legitimate software or re legitimate email. Absolutely. Wow. I had no idea that... Um it was that small. Yeah. No wonder exactly I it. spend so much time every day uh, sorting through emails. Um, there's several things that can be done uh, about spam. Most of your internet security software uh, or your email software that you're using is starting to have uh, spam controls available on it uh, or called junk mail uh, in Outlook. And what it does is it detects and can pretty intelligently uh, take a educated guess at what's spam and what isn't. And what it does is it moves this mail into a junk mail folder or a spam mail folder. Um, you know what? It, it also moves good mail into your junk folder. Yeah, you have some controls over. You have to look at it first to see exactly uh, who's sending it, and you want to make sure that, uh, you're not, um, uh, you know, getting good mail put into that folder, and you can control that. And each piece of software is a little bit different how they do it, but you can approve or disapprove a particular sender uh, of, of mail. And then after it learns a little bit, it'll pretty much control it that way. You mean um, like in my Outlook, my, if I use Microsoft Outlook? Right. Yeah. Your junk mail folder. And then yeah. there's other ones that are out there that are add-ons to your email software that come with your um, either uh, Norton's, I think, has some, and McAfee, and the, the different security software usually has that kind of stuff in it. Um, um, when, we were talk when we were talking earlier, Joe, um, I, I can't remember how we led into this, but I'm, I'm looking at my notes here. We were talking about not putting everyone's email address in the to field and how to um, what did that have to do with spam? Do you remember? Well, what we were talking about is how, how do these, really what it comes down is how your email address gets to these spammers that are out there. Oh, that's right, yeah. And, and one of the ways is, is when you sign up on websites and you use your email address for your accounts and stuff, uh, a lot of these um, uh, websites uh, will collect all that information, all those email addresses, and they sell them off. Uh, as uh, email uh, addresses to people wanting to pay for them to get your email address. They can also capture uh, the email addresses from the emails that you send to people. So if you put everybody's email address in the to field, like if, that I, want is, to send, like if I want to send an email to 20 people. Right. And so I, I you know, type out Joe at centurybackup.com. Then I put right. a semicolon. Then I put Sue White at businesstrainingteam.com, and I right. just keep on going on my list. And everybody's right. in the two field. That's unsafe. That's unsafe because it distributes. That is uh, un unencrypted. It's just out there, and they can find each one of those uh, email addresses. And, and, and so, how? What's the best way? What's the best way then to send an email to that many people? There's a couple of ways of doing it. What you do is there are usually three fields in any email uh, software where you'll have a two, you'll have a, a, a CC or a common car carbon copy, and then you'll have a BCC, which is a blind carbon copy. If you're sending your mail to multiple recipients, you want to put their addresses in the 
blind carbon copy field, and it'll send it out, but it won't make that information available. So don't put any, if you don't put anything in the to field, but you put it in the blind copy field, mm -hmm. uh, what will, is, is that when you see undisclosed recipient? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so if um, uh, you're sending out to a bunch of people and you don't want to have any of those addresses out there, you just put it all to BCC and it will say it's an undisclosed recipient. Okay. So no one will know who else got the email. Yeah. I mean, but it's, it's just also, not out. But it's safe that way. It, I mean, it's as safe as it can be. I mean, okay. uh, yeah, but it's essentially safe at that point. Okay. Um, do you have any other thoughts on spam, or shall we go on? Well, another thing is, is just use a little common sense uh, when you're out there and you're giving out your email address. A couple of ways you can uh, eliminate a lot of uh, uh, spam to your personal email uh, address is uh, you can go create another email address at Yahoo or Gmail, uh, one of those services, and whenever you're purchasing things on the Internet, you use that address as your contact information, and then it doesn't start sending email to your personal email account. Hmm. And plus, we don't have to sign up for everything out there. No. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Okay.